Hello everyone, I am Samran. Welcome to the channel. So in the previous video, we have seen different unit processes for both surface water and ground water. So we will focus today in detail for different unit processes starting with screening. So what is screening? Screening, screening is nothing but uh, the removal of larger suspended particles like stones, debris, trees, etc. So screening is done by providing some uh, score screen and fine screen. So these are the types of screens. Now we'll go further with the details of the screen. So what is core screen? Core screen is nothing but some bars provided in parallel. These bars are of 25 mm dia and these opening are of say 2200 millimeter. This is a top view. These are provided in some inclination because this inclination provides a better removal efficiency. So we will check if these bars are provided in some vertical alignment and this is the original position with an angle theta and if this area is A dash and if this new area is A, so if this is the water coming from this side and after that this will be on this side. So A will be more than A dash. If this velocity here is V1 and here velocity is V2, so V1 will be less than V2 as Q is equal to A into V. To constant this like A into V1 is equal to A dash into V2. As a is greater than a dash to maintain the velocity v1 will be less than v2 that is why for better removal efficiency this is provided in some inclination so this inclination is of some 3 to 6 vertical to 1 horizontal now we need to check what is the head loss for the water coming through the screen this is important from any competitive exam or gate point of view. So, if, if this is a screen and if say this is the incoming water and after some head loss, the water level is here. So, say here the area is A1 and the velocity is V1, here area is A2 velocity is v2. Now this is the total head and here this is the total head. So in this case this total head is a summation of velocity head plus datum head as there is no pressure here because any app application of any external pressure is not here. So for this case so for this case Ht is equals to velocity head means Hv plus datum head means if this is this height is H then this is H. If this is H2 say this is H1 and this is H2 for this case H2 is equals to H velocity plus H2. So this H1 and H2 is not same and this is causing the head loss. So the empirical formula this for this head loss is k into v2 square minus v1 square divided by 2g. This is v2 square minus v1 square by 2g into 0 0.7. This is an empirical formula. So we get hl is equals to 0 0.07289 into v2 square minus v1 square. This is a formula for providing the head loss occurring here. So this is important for exam point of view. Now before going to fine screen, uh, let us check this concept a very detail in some pictorial presentation. You can see uh, this is a bar screen placed at an inclination. So the larger impurities are getting clogged here. 
and the velocity of flow is getting reduced due to this retention of these larger particles which causes an increase in removal efficiency now this is a small clip you can see for the process of screening the bar screen arrests these uh, larger particles by means of raking mechanisms and the inclination helps in better cleaning of these screens we have seen the different uh, kinds of coarse screens now we will focus on the fine screen so fine screens are nothing but some wire mesh screen very small screen like the opening size are of 10 millimeter or less but these fine screens are avoided uh, because the particles or larger suspended particles coming over here these gets clogged very frequently which needs a frequent removal process but this frequent removal process also increases the operational cost to avoid this operational cost increase uh, these fine screens are generally avoided so coarse screens are uh, uses for the water treatment process and further the finer suspended solids and colloids gets removed by the further process like sedimentation coagulation and filtration so this is all about screening now we will start our next topic that is aeration Now, what is aeration? Aeration is nothing but addition of oxygen in water. So, intimate contact of air with water. So, why aeration is needed? Uh, we have some points here. Like the first point is water contains lots of dissolved gases like CO2, H2S to remove these gases aeration is needed secondly oxygen is added to increase the microbial growth which further increases the organic decomposition We will see this section in wastewater treatment processes. Now, this aeration also removes some volatile organic acids like humic acids and phenols. Now, iron and manganese this this the presence of these uh, minerals uh, is uh, frequent in groundwater so removal of these two minerals is possible by aeration how fe is present in fe2 plus form which is the dissolved form which in contact of oxygen and water gets precipitated as feoh whole 3 this precipitation gets removed as sludge and again this mn2 plus in presence of oxygen and water precipitated as manganese oxide dioxides so in this process uh, the water can be purified through this aeration process now we will discuss different aerators in some pictorial format now the first kind so there are several types of editors firstly the spray editors cascade editors spray tower editors bubble aeration method by diffused air so these are some several kinds of aeration process or say aerators which we will discuss further so spray aerators is nothing but like a spray nozzle type aerators this is a nozzle from where some pressurized 
water is flow through this nozzle and gets dispersed from here so this surface area increases because the water going through this portion the sur uh, gets more surface area after removing from this nozzle and more the surface area more will be the contact of water with air so the advantage to use this spray aerators is it uh, removes co2 by 90 percent and h2s by 99 percent so this is some advantage of having this aerator so we will discuss this rest of three aerators by some pictorial representation this is a cascade aeration system you can see the water from the obstruction well is pumped and through a spray aerator the water is sprayed through this filter now cascade aeration means gravity aeration because the water is falling by means of gravity and after some post filtration this water uh, it's stored in some storage tank the co2 can be removed by 20 to 45 percent and h2s can be removed by 35 percent now this is some real life based cascadator through which you can see the water is falling by means of gravity this is some low profile gravity aerator now this is spray tower aerator you can see the water is falling by a tower like structure and get contact with air this is the best method for removal of co2 as well as iron and manganese can also be removed by this aeration system now starting with the bubble aeration system you can see these are some perforated pipes consist of some holes from which the pressurized air are sent and the bubbles are formed these are the bubbles which are causing some aeration system so hope you have understand the screening and aeration process if you like this video don't forget to like and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so thank you for watching